Well, today I'm gonna to take a look at three different ways to clean glass. I'm gonna compare my mom's 80 year old tried and true recipe, which involves vinegar and dish soap. I'm gonna compare that to the much newer Norwex solution for cleaning glass. And I'm gonna take both of those and compare them to the old standard Windex. In the end, hopefully my windows get a little cleaner and I get a little clearer on the best way to do this. So if you wanna watch me do this, stay tuned to the end. For now, let's get going. So the goal usually with cleaning glass is one, get it clean, two, don't leave streaks behind. This is sort of the conundrum because a lot of cleaning products will leave behind streaks. I know a thing or two about cleaning glass and getting streaks because I work in the film and television industry. I've been cleaning lenses for 25 years. I would use the stuff on my windows that I use to clean lenses, but that would get pretty expensive. I'm looking for some other solution. And today I'm gonna try out three. First place I went to was my mom. She is using a method today that she started using when she was a kid 80 years ago. She takes eight parts water, one part vinegar, and a drop of dish soap, mixes it all together, and cleans her windows that way. She claims it works great, she claims you won't get streaks, and she's been doing it a long time, so I figure that's a good place to start. Positives for that, super cheap, pretty easy, and also totally non-toxic. For the recipe, I am going to use just standard supermarket vinegar, nothing special, 5% acetic acid, white vinegar, the kind you can find in any Walmart anywhere. I'm gonna use distilled water because, as you know, I recently recently moved to a smaller city. The tap water here is really, really hard. I don't want that to corrupt the results. <laughs> I know it's just windows, but hey, I figure I may as well be scientific about it. So I'm gonna use some distilled water. I'm gonna mix it in this little misting bottle and go from there. Next up, a much newer solution, the Norwex solution, the much maligned and lauded solution. You may have been to a, a Norwex party thrown by your sister-in-law, or you may have heard about this online. There are people who absolutely adore Norwex and people who absolutely hate it. I didn't buy this. I'm not selling it to you. I just borrowed these, but they look pretty good. They come highly recommended and I couldn't leave them out because the one product in the whole Norwex lineup that people love is the one for cleaning glass. Pluses with this include the fact that it needs no chemicals at all. It just needs water and the rag. Minuses, cost. It's really expensive. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below. You can see how expensive for yourself. But yeah, that is the real negative with this particular cleaning solution. You don't have to buy new materials. You don't have to buy paper towels. You don't have to buy chemicals. You don't have to buy soaps. It will last a fair bit. These are actually five years old, these rags, and they're still going strong. But yeah, they're pretty expensive at the outset. The initial cost, the setup cost with this kind of cleaning solution is pretty high. And finally, the tried and true, because I figure you all know it. I'm gonna use some Windex in this comparison, just your basic glass cleaner. I went to a big box store, it's blue. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with it no matter where you live. So I figured that would be a nice constant for all of you to compare to. And we'll see where we go from here. It's not that expensive. You can find it almost anywhere, but it does have that sort of weird Windex new car smell to it. And it is a chemical made by a company. And if that bothers you, it might not be something you wanna use. In the end, this comparison is designed to simply look at cleaning from cost to execution to result. I'm not gonna make any vast environmental claims here today. I'm not gonna make any claims about companies and how they sell things. I really just wanna take a look and see which cleaning solution is gonna work for me. So now on with the test. I chose my kitchen window because it's pretty grimy, pretty dirty. This is real dirt. This is actual on the inside and outside of this window, honest to goodness dirt, nothing made up here. You may have seen some videos about window cleaning that involves smearing butter on your window as an example. I don't often have butter on my windows, so I didn't want to do that. This is real dirt. And so uh, I divided the window up into three. You can see the red tape here divides each section up. I decided to start on the right. I do not know why. And I decided to start with my mother's recipe first because it would have been the first cleaning solution that I encountered in my life. I'm going chronologically. I spray it on the front. I wipe it down. I'm using paper towel in order to apply the mixture, but I'm also using paper towel to buff it afterwards because I think that's what I would do. I wouldn't leave it damp. I would probably buff it. And because I'm comparing to Norwax, which uses two rags, sort of a wet rag and a dry rag, I thought it would be fair to do the same thing for all three panels. I tilt the window in, I do the outside too, because you're gonna look through it to make an assessment. I make sure to dry buff the outside too, click the window back, and as you can see, it's a lot cleaner. I gotta say, any of these methods is gonna make 
your windows cleaner than this window was when I started. So I figure no matter how this ends, I'm gonna come out ahead. Next onto the Windex, I don't know why I wanna put it in the middle, but for some reason, because it's sort of the standard, I figure I ought to. It'll be easier to compare the other two to it. So I spray some Windex on the middle panel and I give it a wipe with a paper towel and I give it a buff on the inside. Then I tilt the window in and I do the same thing on the outside, Windex down the middle of the panel, fresh paper towel, dry paper towel, middle panel done, looking good. Now onto the Norwex. So uh, the idea with Norwex products is that generally speaking, in almost all cases, they don't require that you use any kind of cleanser or cleaner or soap. You just put water on the rag and it sort of does the rest. Because each rag is a microfiber cloth with very, very fine fibers, the idea is that they sort of pick up everything. Anything that you don't want on your window or your countertop or whatever it is, the rag's supposed to pick up. They have what they call backlock technology. I think back standing for bacteria. And the idea being that whatever's inside of this rag, as it dries, it will kill off the bacteria. The rag will not become smelly or laden with bacteria. And you can just wash it and keep going. As you can see, this rag, it's, it's used, but it's survived pretty well through a number of washes. My friend who uses this uses it all the time. She swears by it. This is five years of use. It's not bad. It's pretty durable. So I take the Enviro rag, which is sort of a general all-purpose rag. They have a bunch of different products. You can go to their website and check it out. I wet the Enviro rag with a little bit of distilled water and I just start rubbing the window from the inside and then I give it a pass with the window rag in order to buff it up. I gotta say, this feels pretty good. I think switching from a paper towel to one of these uh, microfiber cloths really does make a difference. I'm not sure if you have to go all the way to the very expensive Norwex products to get that effect, but I gotta say I'm really noticing a much cleaner feel to the window. It feels almost squeaky clean as I'm buffing it with the window cloth that they provide. Tilt the window in, do the same thing on the outside. Just wet the Norwex in viral cloth, wipe down the outside, grab the window cloth, buff it dry, and close it. And I could not see a difference. <laughs> I mean, I could see a difference from the window when it was dirty to now. It's way cleaner now. But for the life of me, I cannot see a difference between these three things. And if there is a difference, I don't care. <laughs> My window is way cleaner. That matters more. And in the end, I would have been happy with any of these. I don't love the smell of the Windex. I'm going to tell you that much. It smells like new car smell. And I, I just, I think maybe having that out of my life and not having to go to the store and purchase that every couple of months, I think that would be a good thing to let go of. I like the Norwex because I can just wet it and forget it. I'm not against the vinegar either. I think I'm leaning towards the Norwex solution here. I mean, I know that's a really unpopular choice. I'm going to get hit in the comments section pretty hard. That's okay. But I got to say, Having a cloth around that's just at the ready and all I got to do is run it under the tap and I can clean my window, I'm probably going to do that. Rather than having to mix up something with vinegar and water and soap, it's simple, but for some reason, that extra step keeps me from doing it. And I'm not going to go to the store and buy Windex all the time. I don't want to keep it under the sink. It's kind of gross. It stinks. It's just not for me. So for me, the Norwex solution in this case definitely wins out. What do you guys think? Do you like Norwex? Do you hate it? Do you use vinegar? Do you use Windex? Do you use something else. Leave all those comments in the comment section below I want to hear. And thanks for sticking with me till the end. As always, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.